All right, guys, let's build this infinite loop carousel. Why is it so difficult to say? Smooth infinite loop carousel. Let's build it. As you can see around me, I have two carousels running really smoothly and not stopping for anything in the world. I know this type of carousel is mainly used to display company logos, but if you use your imagination, you can make it work for you in other ways. You can work this project even if you don't have Elementor Pro. We will be using a CSS code snippet, which you can inject into your Elementor free as I show you in this video here. Okay, let's get on with it. Okay, the first thing we are going to be doing is adding a new section and I am going to set this section full width as well as the height to 50 VH. We don't need it higher than that or higher, taller than that. And we are going to look for the image carousel element, drag and drop it in the new section and let's add already the images. So we have an idea of how our carousel is going to look. So I'm adding just some random images that I have. The size is not quite the same size as the other <laughs> images up top, but it's fine. So image size, this is up to you, but I am going to set them to medium large because they do look much better. And slides to show, I will set to three and slides to scroll one. And we're not gonna show the arrows and dots. We don't care about that. We want it clean, smooth and nothing else. Okay, then the link media file. I will leave this as a light box because what that means is when somebody wants to see the pictures that you have in the carousel, basically they just click on it and it opens and they can scroll through and look or have a better look at them, which I think is pretty cool. All right, next thing we are going to be doing, let's give this <laughs> section a background because it looks a little bit sad and I don't like it. Let's set it to black because black goes with everything or everything goes with black. Already looking much better. <laughs> All right, let's go to additional options and slide the lazy load button to yes because we don't want this carousel to load on the page when everything else is loading because that would make your page so slow or slow because these carousels are filled with so many media files and media files are heavy loaded. <laughs> anyway, the point is just turn it on and forget about it. So autoplay, yes. Pause on hover, yes. Although sometimes it doesn't really work, but why not? Let's have it on and pause on interaction. Yes, autoplay, I'm going to turn this off. Basically turn it down to zero. Infinite loop, yes, please. Animation speed. We are going to, whoa, it went a little bit crazy. Let's take this to 7,000. It's looking already much better, but you see the situation, you see what's happening. It goes smoothly and then it stops and picks up again and it stops and it's like not even nice. The direction, I will leave it to left. You can turn it to right that you have that option. But what I wanna do is set the gutters between the images, the space. Let's go to style and set the custom spacing to 35. Yeah, you can set it whatever you want, whatever looks good with your pictures. And I will also add margin top 50 as well as bottom 50. So it has more room to breathe. And I think it's looking a little bit better already. Let's see. Yeah. But also what I want to do is we don't want gaps. Yes. So go to the section and turn off the column gaps. Basically no gap because look how smooth it is now. It goes from side to side and it just blends out. Okay. Let's fix this situation with a smooth scrolling because I am starting to not like this. So let's go to the Aptops carousel and let's grab the code B and paste custom CSS and let's wait a little bit it takes a little bit of time to take effect and there you go how cool is this it's working of course it's working so there you have it super simple super easy and I think it's really beautiful I know this is really random but if you want to know how to build a custom 404 page then watch this video here and I'll see you next time